So question was, there are a number of uh, different types of computer. Write down the types of computer that best fits the following description. A computer that is difficult to move and has a separate monitor and keyboard. So these are the features. So according to this, this is the just a computer with separate monitor and keyboard. Good. Okay. Now second one. Oh, sorry. Wait a second. Okay. What about this one? There is. Laptop. And Arch? Yes, sir. This is a laptop computer. Okay. You can see laptops. You are right, both of you. Now this one. Yes, that uh, is. Sir, this is um. Arch, you can tell. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a mobile phone or a smartphone. It can be both of them. Smartphone. It can be smartphone or mobile phone. A thin portable computer that has a touch screen and a battery in a single unit. Not normally used to make phone calls. Yes, that oh. is. There is a hint. Yes. Uh, touch me up. Uh, say it again. I think it's like either it's like a laptop or touch screen laptop or a tablet. No, it's only tablet. It says a thin okay. portable computer. Okay. Laptop is not a thin portable. It's portable but not thin. Okay. And it's a, it touch okay. a battery in a single unit. So basically, it's a tablet computer, okay? So you can see how to give us. Now, next one, a mobile phone that can be used as a computer. Rush, Ash, you can tell. Uh, a mobile phone that can be used as a computer. What will be the answer? Is it a foldable, like a foldable phone or like a phablet? It's a smartphone, kind of. Thing. Yeah. Okay. A mobile that can be used as a computer. A mobile. The smartphone has a microprocessor and RAM, so that is why we we can categorize that device as a uh, computer. There you got the answer. Is it clear? Yes. What? So what about this one? Arsh. First you tell. Uh, okay, so the instructions that have to be typed is the command line interface. That is second one you tell. Yes, yes. Like a line. The CLI or GUI. Okay, good. So, Arsh, third one. Yeah, GUI. GUI? There is fourth one, you will tell. CLI. CLI, okay, good. So here you can see the answers. CLI and GLI. Now, here you have to write something. So how will, how will you solve this one? Most uh, smartphones can carry out many functions. 
which until recently only a computer could perform, explain why computer of all type are still needed. Can you write on piece of paper separately, both of you, and then uh, text uh, WhatsApp me? Is it possible? You have five minutes. Um, yes. Okay. Sure. Okay.
Okay, have you done? Uh, sir, I'm almost done. Sir, I'm done. Good. Send to me. Sir, I'll send. Okay. Arch, you have signed me, no? Okay, Zaris, can you sign? We'll discuss. Sir, wait one minute. Okay. Uh, sir, how is my work? Uh, I'm I'm going through now. Then I will discuss with you, both of you. I'm reading. Yes, yes, I uh, read your answer. Your answer is quite right. Uh, just needed a little guidance. Okay, after getting the Irish answer, then I'll discuss.
should be discussed. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. What about that? Have you written? Yes, sir. Can you send me? I did. Okay. Sir, something went wrong on my tech. Okay. No issues. So we are going to discuss, so you can compare your answer. Okay. Now see here. First one is basically you have to uh, tell about computer. Computer of all type are still needed. So you have to start like that because they offer superior processing power, the storage capacity and versatility compared to smart. So these are basically three features which make uh, all computers superior uh, from uh, smartphones. So you should focus basically giving uh, such kind of answer like uh, seven marks, six marks or eight marks. You should focus on the uh, on the question they have asked. Basically, it means if they are asking about uh, what 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 the feature which makes superior uh, to the smartphone. So you you focus on uh, merits of all computers, not the demerits of uh, basically all computer or smartphone. So what it can do. Now see next one. While smartphone have become more capable, so it's a feature, it's a merit. So they are limited by their smaller form factor, which hinder complex tasks and professional. So using smartphone, you cannot do such kind of activity like professional application, professional as a web designer, graphic designer, or any other complex uh, task, which cannot be done by smartphone, because it has limited processing power. See? So you have to focus on demerit of smartphone as we, when you are comparing with other, other companies. Like computer excel in handling uh, resource intensive activities like video editing, scientific uh, simulation, and software. These are tasks which cannot be done in the smartphone. So this is the main feature. Is the main reason behind using computers instead of smartphones. Okay, they provide a more efficient and comfortable working environment uh, with larger screen, full size keyboard, and three size input device. So, these are basically some other functions which cannot be offered by a smartphone. Uh, a smartphone is not when you when you are chatting with smartphone, you are not compatible with. You have to be very strict to that working environment should. Doesn't provide a working environment. Okay. Okay. Is that it, sir? Great. Sir. Okay. Now see, basically, it it is not asking a feature of separate separate computer. It is only asking about computer of all type, and computer of all type must be compared with smartphone. So you have to mention uh, advantages or function which can be done by computer of all type. It doesn't need to be specific. Uh, okay, you do not need to compare or tell desktop separately, laptop separately, or uh, tablet separately. We just use the word common word. You have to compare commonly. Okay. So see other options. They provide a. Uh, Basically, additionally, computers serve as a backbone uh, for critical infrastructure supporting online services, data, center, and cloud. Computer can work as a servers. Okay, they provide backup uh, facility and any other infrastructure which is required to run network, internet activity, so online services, data center, with data, huge data store. These kind of activity could not be done by a smartphone. That is why uh, we are still stuck with the computer, not with the smartphone. Now, their power and adaptability make them indispensable for specialized tasks and professional workflows that go beyond the capability of smartphone. The smartphone has 
very limited options which cannot be uh, replaced by smart uh, i mean other computer the other whatever other computer can do it could not be done by smartphone so i hope this is clear yes sir is there any query uh no sir you got the idea how to give the answer can you explain something uh what did you get ah uh, yes so what i got is that um what i did was like compare every single like function of a diff of like three different computers like the laptop desktop and tablet to the to like the phone yeah. but instead what i had to do is just like describe the things that computers are able to do which phones aren't yes yeah it means you have to give more focus on feature which are provided by all type of computer other than smartphone okay with all those yes. tasks which cannot be done by now be precise be focused whatever they ask ti is uh, don't like any uh, deviate answer they don't like details they only like focus on whatever they have asked okay all right yes darish you tell you tell us what did you get from this answer sir on chat Can you say it again? Uh, give me feedback. That is so I should know that. Did you get this? Uh, this answer. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. So you know that how to give the answer. Basically, one mark, two marks answer are very easy. You can uh, get full mark, but people lose marks in seven. Seven uh, detail answer like seven mark, six mark, or eight mark answer. Here you have to be very careful how to write, what to write. Okay, what they are asking. So you have to focus with the question. Always uh, include question. Uh, you have to give answer according to question. Okay, not general general answer. Now see next one. Now this is the eight marks question. So you have a five to six minutes. So can you write? Compare and contrast CLI and DUI. Yes, sir. Can you do that? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So write on piece of paper, whatever you think. Answer, possible answer. Then we see how to write answer.
Okay, that is, uh, your answer is right, but it's very little, uh, small answer. According to eight marks, you have to write uh, many points. At least four, uh, you have to give four comparison. So two marks each comparison can get. Okay. Where is Arsh? Yes, there is. Are you there? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, you would like to go uh, further point or should I discuss? What about that Arsh? Where is that Arsh? His battery ran out. He's okay. coming. Okay, so I, I can wait. Can you write more further point? Do you know? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll think of it. Okay, have you written? Yes, Ash. Are you listening? Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam. Hi, Waalaikum salam. Sorry, I'm late, sir. Oh, why, Reha? Uh, I wasn't able to connect due to some internet issues. Okay, okay, no issue. So basically, I recorded the lecture so so that you can uh, uh, see that lecture. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Basically, we are uh, today we are uh, discussing exam based question of chapter one, and three question we have done discuss. Uh, this is the fourth question. If you can do, you can write uh, answer regarding on piece of paper. Can you do this? Can you write about this one? Uh, yeah, I'll write it right now. Try to write uh, four comparison of okay, CLI and compare and contrast CLI and DUI. So at least four comparison you can write. You have uh, three or four minutes, so okay, five minutes. Because I'm waiting for uh, Arsh, so I can discuss the question number four. Yes, there is. Have you written any any more points? Can you send me? Hello, sir. I'm back. Sorry. Okay, no issue. So, have you a written answer? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I'm just going to write in chat as well. Okay. So, after one minute, I will discuss, okay? 
All right, sir. Okay, I am going to discuss uh, this question answer. So remember, uh, eight marks question. If they ask you uh, compare and contrast or give comparison of two uh, two different things, here it is asking what CLI and PI. You should include four point at least, so so that you can get uh, two point for each comparison kind of that. It is asking computer operating systems have developed since early computers uh, use command line interface. Many computers now use graphical user interface, and some of it are capable of using touch screen technology. Now it says compare and contrast CLI and GI. Only you have to focus on CLI and GI. You don't do not need to say about anything about touch screen, okay? Because it is asking only only compare CLI and GI. So now see we need uh, we need to see here, okay? The first point is. You have to start from CLI. CLI and GUI are two different ways to interact with computer operating system. This is basically a brief description of uh, environment. Now, second one, CLI rely on text-based command entered to a terminal, requiring precise syntax knowledge. Now, remember, I have put uh, I have uh, this input answer in a, a bullet way. You do not do, uh, do that. You have to make an essay essay type okay you have to write in essay format but i for clarification i have put in uh, bullet form it is efficient for experienced user and automatic task through script okay it is uh, uh, telling about the cli however it can be daunting for noises and lack visual feedback so giving uh, merits can also give uh, demerit on the other end now you have to give other options. On the other hand, GUI provides a visual representation of the system using icon, windows, and manual, making it more user friendly for computation. So these are basic feature of GUI, so which provides the GUI, which could not be provided by CLI. Now next one, user can interact with the system through mouse click and touch, making it initiative and simple. Further feature are given about GUI. However, GUI now it is uh, demerit. However, GUI may be less efficient for repetitive tasks and consume more system resources. <clears throat> so that giving a comparison, first you can tell the uh, merits, and then you can tell the demerit of uh, operating system. CLI is often uh, preferred for another comparison. CLI is often preferred for system administration and programming tasks due to its speed and flexibility. While you can use here word while or whereas. While GUI is popular for every data and application that requires you. So try to give answer this kind of uh, point, this kind of, uh, which I've written like, CLI is often preferred, first you tell uh, one of the OS feature, and then come, uh, tell other feature of the operating system. So while GUI is popular for, here you can compare two merits of two different operating systems. Many modern systems use a combination of both, so offering the power of CLI for advanced users and the user friendly of GUI for general customers. So you, here you can, you can give uh, both operating system uh, merits. Okay. So this was the basically uh, answers of question number two. Uh, Arsh, is it clear to you? Oh, yes, yes sir. Sorry, it took me. Sorry, it took me long enough to write my answer. Okay, no true. So did you get the how to give the answer? Uh, yes, sir. I wrote the same points. 
so when they ask you compare and contrast so try to do compare uh, uh, according to the marks like eight marks you have to give four at least four comparison okay so that you can get full marks okay yes sir so darish has given dli is a user interface developed in the early days of computer and technology and that user uh, the user command to satisfy the user they take one to master ui is a new developed user interface that interacts with the operating system these are also valid point okay good okay but uh, you require to give more point okay try to match your answer with marks how many marks are they have given to like eight marks means at least you should give four comparisons okay whether you are comparing with uh, merit or demerit or merit with the other merit okay, or sir. Other, okay okay ryan did you get yes, did you get the point yes sir okay you should write according to that uh, you can watch the video okay uh, the previous answer question we have discussed okay now see last one yes one by one you can tell me arsh yes what what first one um, that is rom uh, don't you think both option are right uh, uh is it ram for temporary data uh, no sorry it's a rom okay you are right data on a chip is stored permanently and cannot be deleted Rehan, is this clear? Yes, sir. Zarish, uh, this point is clear. You are agree with this? ROM or RAM? What do you say? It is a ROM or RAM? ROM. ROM, good. Now, Rehan, you have to tell the second point. Which one is right? Uh, ROM. There is. You have to tell about third one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, yes. There is. What about third point? Is it ROM or RAM? Huh? Tell it again. RAM. Good. Arsh, tell us about fourth one. Uh, yes, so it's ROM. Good. Rehan, what about fifth one? RAM. Good. Yes, Jarish, sixth one. ROM or RAM? Yes, Gary. Hurry up. Is it ROM or RAM? Six one. Data is lost when power to the computer is turned off. Uh, good. It's right. Yes, Rehan. Uh, Arsh, you tell us about uh, Okay, so it contains the basic input output system used to boot up the computer when it's first powered up. Um, wait a minute. That's RAM, right? No, it's a ROM. Oh, okay, sorry. Exception are stored in ROM, okay? When you power on the system. So it gets instruction from ROM. RAM. Uh, role start at the end when operating is transfer to RAM. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. Rehan, tell us second last. Is it RAM or ROM? Sir, I think it's RAM. Good. Yes, there is last one you have to tell us. Is it ROM or RAM? The last one. Good. ROM is the right option. Okay.
So, so is it enough for today? Yeah, sure. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll continue from here after finishing uh, paper one or chapter one. So, okay, we'll start chapter two. So, okay, Allah face. All right, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Allah face.